winners? No. They did, they did actually win oh, the quarters finals. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah, that, was one, one, that was quarter, one. That was quarter final. That was quarters that wasn't on stream. All right, but here we go. Con Con Zamba this is going to be a run back, like you said it, from winners finals. So let's see what Zamba can do to close it out in the same fashion that he won it, or what adaptation Con Con has made during this loser bracket to try to close out Zamba. Ooh, As I say that, Con Con getting closed out. A rare Bayo edge guard. Um, or an edge guard on Bayo. Yeah. Because of course we've seen we've seen those like combos coming out. Those hitboxes are noxious to try to edge guard against. But of mm. course Rob Dare being an even more obnoxious move, he's gonna be able to take him out right there. Yeah, but Kong Con slowly starting to build the way back into this game, tacking on a good amount of percent, and that's something that Bayo is not uh, a stranger of doing. Yeah, it's just having to find this kill, especially on a character as heavy as Rob is gonna be a problem, oh. but yeah, yeah I can be able to SDI out of it. Right, here we go. Going to be able to get the roll in with the Nair and trying to get something off of the... Oh! Oh! That was, that was sneaky. Yeah, just going to be holding on to the F-Smash afterwards. Of course, the Bullet Arts going to be a little bit of a help there. And I, no, oh, not going to be able to get the full... Not going to take the stock off it, but going to get Zombar off stage and that back air is going to take it. Yep, very good. It's very sneaky Guelph Space back air right there coming from Kon Kon. And like I said earlier, Bayo not a stranger to getting early percent combos, and especially a character as big as Rob. And here we go. As I say, unfortunately not going to be able to get the Witch Twist out of the back air right there. But nonetheless, Kon Kon still inching his way back into this. Yep. But once again, you said not a stranger building up these early percent combos. And that 97% lead that Zama had has quickly, quickly dwindled down. But once again... Bayo can show to kill. Like, that's, okay, good. <laughs> I didn't want to be proven wrong. Really. Then, <laughs> yeah, nah, definitely not from center stage. And something that Rob does not exactly show to do is kill, especially given the rage. And yeah, great just air dodge out to such tech, tech roll out. I don't exactly know what animation happened there. All right, here we go. Zombo trying to get this lead that he had built up in the first stock, and the Zombear going to be able to come in clutch. Yeah, I'm trying to go for maybe a, a roll read with that up smash, but not gonna, not gonna do it, and gonna take some damage for it. Until, yeah. And yeah, getting caught on that platform is never what you want to do, especially when you're below oh Robin, falling out of the you're up dead, air, but that's, that's it. Yeah, definitely yeah. max rage right there. Oh my goodness, what a great bait and punish right there from Zamba. Yeah, getting caught in the end lag of the um, down B, and yeah, that's all, Zom that's all Zamba needed right there. I think we're gonna see we're gonna see an FD pick come out. Definitely see if I imagine we're gonna stay Bayo. He no, we'll see Rosa. Oh, the we Rosa. see Rosa pick come out. I can see. I understand. I can understand this. I think a big like thing that Rosa can succeed with on the stage is uh, making sure characters can struggle to land, mm -hmm. especially given the fact that Luma can cut off two different at two different angles now. Mm -hmm. uh, given the stage like FD, where landing can be a struggle at times. Definitely see why this counter pick was made. Yeah, but Glazer gonna be a very good option in this matchup to be able to close out Luma. You know, it's transcendent, so it goes through just about anything unless it is sucked up by uh, Rose's down B. But speaking about getting sucked up, Zamba getting sucked up off stage with these fares. <clears throat> Zamba gonna be able to land safely with the landing there, though. But here we go. Let's see what yeah, Zamba has whipping up. It's honestly. Luma has not been existent at all yeah. during, during this game. The few times that they've been out, they've just either been in shield or getting hit. And then up, up here is not going to dot, not going to kill him just yet. If that up here would have killed, that would criminal. <laughs> that, yeah, that would have had been some uh, DI issues right there. A little bit of HBox DI, if you will. <laughs> All right, but here we go. Zamba going to be able yet again to land with the Nair. Let's see if Kon Kon is going to be able to pick up on that later on. But down throw yet again. Let's see what we got. The up air going to be able to catch the stray mash and close out that stock at 110, roughly. Yeah, and already building up so much damage right right here. Getting in is going to be such a problem. And yeah. you see that Luma's already gone. Oh my god. But gonna get caught with the side be not dead yet. However, still off stage. Oh you're gonna god. catch the up here with the up air. Get off of him! <laughs> let him go! Get let him go! Him. <laughs> get off of him! 
Oh my god, and even the Luma up smash right there at just like about 113, not, or 120, excuse me, not going to be able to take out the stock, but the Nair into the fair, true combo, going to be able to close that. Yeah, but such a high percent. It's really honestly just a struggle. Against, trying to play against Rob at any deficit is already struggle, but you're down by so much, and your Luma is gone. I think it's a really random, like, sour spot Nair from Rob sent them off stage. Yeah, but, the way that Zamba's just been playing the set. Trying to look for a second air dodge after catching the first, but no jump right here. Zamba just gonna eat a couple up airs for his troubles. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to get the punish right there was uh, Con Con on the with neutral on the with neutral B but And I think Zamba has been catching on to a lot of these options that Con Con has been going for just in there, because it seems a lot of the times that Con Con will go for an air and immediately pull out another option. And Zamba's just ready to wait oh, for it. However, there it you was go. not that can be the same thing. Zamba has been really reliant on those nares to land, and Kong Kong realizing they're going to punish him for it. And these small damages that Luma, that Rosa and Luma can get at the beginning of his stocks can be really just crucial right now. <laughs> I, just it, I just realized Zamba's tag. Is more <laughs> his fan? Yeah. It's he, he's definitely someone who I feel like would enjoy that, even I, like, even I, unironically. <laughs> what well, I mean, hey, what's up, Zama? If you're rewatching the vod, but we're it, of course Luma is back right now, but like could be too little, too like great recovery right there and great just roll away. Yeah, and right now Kong Kong has just found his way back into the set. Definitely on the cusp of closing out the stock if he get the two frame with the F smash, but not gonna be able to get it. Zamba landing it again with the Nair. Let's see what Kong Kong can do to muster up a little bit more percent so they can close out this stock against this heavy Rob. The yeah, Luma. and oh, unfortunately, Luma, Luma dying right now is one of the worst possible cases for Kong Kong having his jump. That's but it, yeah. Yeah, oh, unfortunately, going off stage. The and that's IB. Hitbox. Yeah, there's no hitbox on it either. The, you know, maybe contested or just hit it before.